kickstand. We put an air shock on it. This actually says Bagode. It's a Bagode air shock. Pedals are pretty good. A little bit slippery, but way better than some of the other options like the V13's pedals, which are really slippery. This is a 16-inch wheel. Again, it really reminds me of my 84-volt Nikola, which was my first wheel. Feels like an upgraded, majorly upgraded 84-volt 84, 84 Nikola. I feel like it even has more power, more torque, better tire, better lights. It's a lot lighter. You know, it's plastic, it's waterproof. You could just ride it in the rain, no problem. Haven't had any issues with this wheel so far. Haven't put too many miles on it, maybe only about 10 miles on it so far. Uh, yeah, the Go Chalk here. Kickstand's nice, trolley handle's good. I really am having a hard time finding anything negative to say about this wheel. It really, for the money, I feel like it is one of the best wheels ever made in terms of how, how much the price is and everything. It's only 84 volt wheel. You're not gonna do any racing on this wheel uh, unless maybe there's like 84 volt class in the future. But man, it just is a solid piece of kit and I have nothing really negative to say about it. We're gonna go for a little ride through the city it's rainy day today, so we'll be going, won't we'll be going too fast so we don't slip or anything like that, but leave a thumbs up, leave a comment below if this is a wheel you're interested in. If you're into racing, you know, this is not gonna be the wheel for you, but I want this wheel for just enjoyment, for going out on a commute, uh, traveling around cities, urban riding. This is a great wheel for urban riding. It really stands out, feels amazing. The firmware is great. I could just sing praises for this wheel all day. Uh, I'm super hyped for this wheel. I might actually buy one in the future if I'm living in a location. This would be my, my Tesla is what I used for running errands, but I would use this instead. This is a great piece of kit. It's not too heavy. It's actually pretty light. Let's do a real quick spin out test. I don't know how to close this. Is that a cutout too? Where's the cutout switch? Oh yeah, just push it in. And it's not too bad, I guess. As far as trolley handles go, it's not too bad. All right, let's go back to the shop. I'll talk about the range and everything like that in a separate video. The firmware feels amazing. Like you can, it feels really stable. And the weights, I, I've gotten used to like heavier wheels. So whipping this thing around is a lot easier than, now that's a great piece of kit. All right, let's roll. Let's go for a ride. Olive berry, olive blue. Pick your poison, tell me what you do. Lost the V13. <laughs> the V13 couldn't keep up there. Uh, red right, red light here, but nobody's coming through. So we'll fall them through. This thing has some serious torque. We should do a V13 versus uh, <laughs> S19 test to see which one has more torque. This thing is a torquey wheel for it only being 84 volts. I love it. 84 volt wheel with the most torque, the most powerful probably 84 volt wheel ever made. What is that? Plastic. This tire is amazing. It feels grippy. It feels carvy. Woo! Carving in the rain. Step on it a bit. Woo! Woo! This thing zings. Wow, I really love this wheel. G13 right behind me. Holla berry. Holla blue. What you do. Yeah, King Song has really stepped it up with this wheel. I feel like the price point, this is gonna this wheel is gonna bring a lot of people into the space. There are a lot of new wheels coming out on the racing side. Uh, I don't know if you guys all saw the new Extreme Bull with the C40 motor. That's something I asked uh, Extreme Bull for when I first got my command. I was like, can I get mine with the C40 motor? Is that possible? And at the time it was a no. But uh, now now they got the whoa, it looks like some nice splashy coming up. Now they got the C40 Motor Commander Pro coming out with 50S battery cells, which I think will be a great racing wheel, provided provided it has uh, 
a big enough enough space for a 90 by 90 tire my commander pro then once i put on the new firmware my 90 90 tire no longer fits because the new firmware made it turn in a different way so it was rubbing the edges off of the commander pro Uh, so I was talking about the Commander, the new Commander Pro with uh, 50S, C40 motor. I think it's uh, going to be a great racing, racing wheel if I could put a 99 tire on it. You really need a 99 tire because it's such a thick EUC. You need a thick tire on it for those turns. And the 99 tire is amazing. I really think it needs a 99 tire for it to be effective. So if it does... If it does have the C40 motor, 50S, and I could fit a 99 tire on it, that is a racing wheel I would like for the big tracks and also my long range wheel. Uh, it wouldn't be a great off-road wheel. Actually, it probably would be with that much torque. I mean, it's just a big wheel, big heavy wheel. And I think the C40 motor and 50S sells that, add some weight. Uh, the GT, I love the GT. It's my like favorite kind of all around racing wheel right now. Uh, but uh, I can't fit a 90, same problem, I can't fit a 99 tire on. It's like if they could just give you a bit more space so you don't have to do, make any modifications. And yeah, the, the stock tires from Bago just are not good stock tires. They're street tire and uh, off-road tire, not very good tires. Man, that's what I, one thing I'm liking about the 16S. I did not have to do a tire change right off the gate like I did with the GT. The GT like right away had to do a tire change and also the commander pro so yeah it's it sucks having to do a tire change right out the gate when you just want to go for a ride that's something that's taken to take into cons take into cons well, i don't know what that word is uh so we're going up this cobblestone hill right now and i just feel like it has all the torque i need <laughs> like for man like 84 volt wheel with amazing amount of torque the, the goat air suspension is doing a pretty good job. I heard that King Song is going to be improving some things with the suspension and whatnot. So we'll see what kind of upgrades they make. All right, I'm curious to see if I can make it up this hill. It's a bit wet and yeah, so we'll see if the, the S16 can go up this hill. Don't really want to get it too dirty, but we'll try. It's a pretty big hill for an 84 volt wheel and it's muddy. Whew. Hope it's up right away. Not too bad. See if the V13 can do. Oh, nope. V13 too big. <laughs> too big. V13. So the V13 cannot, but the S16. I guess the the weight. The weight is a big difference. All right. Oh, you tried going up this side though. I don't know if I can make it up this side. We'll go up slow this time. Nope. <laughs> Ooh, it's super muddy. Made it up the first time. Getting people's wheels dirty. But uh, it made it up the first time. It's just, man, look at look at the mud in there. That's, this tire is amazing. Papo, sorry for getting your wheel dirty. <laughs> it was so beautiful and new. I like uh, Top Spin letting us use the V13 and uh, S16. <laughs> we'll clean them up. This is what testing is all about. We got to put these wheels through the work so that you guys know what they're capable of. I mean, it's super. I'm going to avoid doing that again. I, oh, where's the cutout switch on this thing? Right here? Where's that? There's like a cutout switch. Ah, oh, maybe under the handle. I don't know. There's a cutout switch somewhere. Ready? All right, we're back on the road. We were talking about the Commander Pro and GT2 boot, but goes new wheels. I also heard <laughs> I also heard Bagot is working on a 168 volt wheel which that sounds freaking crazy it's exactly what we need is a more powerful wheel we're just going to cut through where is it right here down here it's a nice shot from here Holla berry, holla blue. Pick your mud, tell me what you do. All right, so that is a pretty good shot right here. If you can uh, get on this side and then film this direction, uh, position right here. 
and then we'll go torque test oh felt the dip i almost cut out right there <laughs> Whew. dang yeah so it dips you gotta pull back fast or you're gonna cut out uh, it's an 84 volt wheel all right so you can't torque it like you can a gt or any other wheel this wheel cut out uh i'm not gonna try the stairs but uh what's going on down there so i got some kind of flood let's go omnos almost cut out right there <laughs> i dipped hard does have some good safety features but man i could have easily cut it out by just pressing a little bit harder i think because it was it was going down i don't know if the dip was captured maybe we'll see in the video we are going to continue on our journey here in Gijon, Gijon, spain i love this tire for in the firmware the way it turns it feels so good dun, 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 dun. Put the ones in front of the gun did forever. I don't really want to do stairs on this wheel. Uh, too locked in. Too slippery. Yeah, the firmware is interesting. I don't know what mode I'm in, but it feels amazing. Doesn't have a dippy turn, has a good pivot turn. So compared to the S19, the S19 has more power and is a, uh, is a bigger tire. And usually I would go for the bigger tire, but that's in terms of racing. I always want a bigger tire in terms of racing. That's why I was even racing the V13 at one point is because I really loved the bigger tire. But this is not a racing wheel, so I don't care about a big tire. I want portability, I want stability, and this is the perfect blend of all those factors. It has portability, stability, and that's where we get the hash from. But uh, all right, we're continuing on in the streets of Gijon. Uh, the best thing about this wheel and why I love it the most is something you can't hear right now, and that's the speakers because recording using my phone so you can't play uh, music while you're recording on the phone, I don't think. But man, this has the most amazing speakers. I think it even sounds better than the S19, but uh, I'm not sure if it's the same speakers or not. But to me, it's been a while since I rode the S19 in a month or two, but it feels, man, this feels like the speaker is just like, you can feel the music coming up through your body and it feels amazing. I'm really trying, again, to think of some negatives. Um, the pads uh, right off the I haven't tried the stock pads. These pads uh, were on it when I started reviewing it and same with the Bigode suspension. So I guess some of the negatives might be the shock suspension. If someone's putting the air, the air shock on it, the Bigode air shock must have some, some benefits. It's a busy day here. Uh, it was a national holiday in Spain. I think uh, yesterday or the day before was a national holiday. I think Thursday was a national holiday in Spain. So it's actually really busy in this city. People are out surfing and having fun. And I love how light this wheel is. Oh, we got a Tesla behind us. Tesla is not something you see too often here in Spain. Uh, we got a green Verde light. Here we go. Woo. Man, this wheel just feels amazing. Yeah, this is the wheel I would want for my commuting enjoyment group ride wheel you know especially if you're riding with one wheels or other slower pevs this is this wheel just fits in amazing i think the price is less than two thousand dollars which if it is it's an amazing price point if you can get this wheel less than two thousand bucks i mean if, if you think about it in terms of my nicola i paid uh 2000 like 200 i think or 2000 something for my 84 volt nicola three or four years ago and this wheel is much improved with suspension speakers more power i mean it is an all-around upgrade over the nicola so king song man i really love what king song is doing everybody's going for the racing wheel and i heard there are going to be more powerful 
variations of this wheel, but I don't necessarily need more power. Yes, I almost cut out a few minutes ago, but I was trying to do a torque test to see what this max potential is. I don't, I'm not gonna be going that fast ever. The speed I'm going now, is pretty much the speed I'll be going around the city, you know? I'm not gonna be flying around the city too much. We'll stop right here and then go through here. Let's go through here. Yeah, you gotta be careful there's a lot of randomness going on all right we are back to the main street so yeah talked about the new extreme bull wheels we talked about the s16 s19 i think extreme bull is really on it with their racing wheels they're really stepping it up and gonna have some great racing wheels apple valley apple valley speedway is coming up if I were to race at Apple Valley, I would actually want to try the V13 just because everybody's using Masters with model cells and EX30s. So it would be cool to see a V13 on the field with a uh, street tire. I think it could, I could make it to the finals at least with, uh, with the V13. The competition is getting better and better. Everybody's practicing now and taking it to the new, like, next level. Everybody's like pushing each other to the next level. Everybody wants to get that that AVS podium. I have four of them. This will be the first one I miss, I think, once I get some kind of crazy sponsorship. But even if I did, it's like, man, I don't really want to travel all the way back to US just to do three laps <laughs> on AVS. I've done that here in December and uh, in Spain, they're doing a urban circuit where they're closing down a town for us and we will be racing a circuit many laps through a town. And that sounds way more exciting to me than doing something I've already done many times before. Um, but, you know, if I was in California, I definitely would wanna not miss the ABS. All right, we are back to the top spin E-Riders shop. And yeah, the S16 is a great wheel for it. <laughs> For an outro, for an outro, I really don't really have anything negative to say about this wheel. It did have the suspension change, so, and I guess there is a cutout switch somewhere, which I keep randomly triggering. I don't know where it is though, but it keeps uh, cutting out. So I guess that's a negative. Uh, it'll be pretty easy to clean this up. It's plastic, it's lightweight. And again, see, where's the cutout switch? I'm like cutting it out somewhere. That's weird somewhere oh there it is okay so that's how you uh lift switch the s19 lift switch i didn't like so much but thank you guys for checking out the video thank you leah for helping film number one rider in spain right now we got the gt review coming up and a patent review coming up great wheels love them both uh until next time stay in the zen zone all right perfecto that's good